Hey, so I just wanted to make a video to help out with the Google Sheets document. Um, first, getting started uh, with Google Sheets, um, you know, you could use Excel uh, and the Mac computers have numbers, a program on there as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend those. Um, only because the documents that I'm using are made specifically for Google Sheets. Google Sheets works in a, right in a web browser, so it works on everyone's computer, it's free, and since all the pictures are uh, are just you know uh, focused on Google Sheets. It'll probably be easiest this way. But again, it, it is ultimately up to you. If you do Microsoft Excel, that's okay. Um, so what you want to do is start up with Google Sheets. So if you just search Google Sheets, it should come right up in every search engine you use. Go to Google Sheets. You'll probably want to make a Gmail account if you don't have one or sign up. You can just make a blank Google Sheet for week one. And then what's easiest is if you click, uh, pull up the link that's in the, the assignment for week one, then click the top left cell, and then scroll down to the bottom, hold shift, and click the bottom right cell. Or you could click and drag all those cells. And then click edit and copy. That copies the data. That's probably the easiest way to transfer the data over into your own Google Sheet. Okay. So we've got all the data in a Google Sheet. Um, now we can start going through the document, figure out what they want from us here. Not what they, <laughs> what, I, what I want, because uh, I was the one that made that. Sorry. So uh, the first thing we want to do is take a simple random sample. And the way we do that with a computer, and I guess there's, there's other ways too, but um, the easiest way is to type equals rand open and close the parentheses and hit enter. And that gives just a random number. If you just type in somewhere else, you see every time you make an action in Google Sheet, it makes a new random number. So you can click and drag. It's a lot of data because it's an actual data set. And I've, I've linked the, uh, the study that, was, that uses this data set so you could read more about it if you want. Click and drag, and that gives random numbers everywhere. Okay, so the problem is though, this is a function. This is going to make a random number every time you do something. So we don't want to keep making random numbers. Click the, the header of the column, then click edit, and then copy. And then what you want to do is you could just paste right over this column. Go to paste, oh sorry, and I right finger clicked or two, uh, right, right clicked or two finger click there. Go to paste special, values only. That way these random numbers stay for the rest of the time. And now that you have everything randomized, you've got a random number next to every data value. Now you can get a random sample by clicking here, go down to sort A to Z, and now your data set is sorted from least to greatest based on the random numbers. So that's a way of randomizing your data set. So look, I can just click the top, uh, top number, hold shift, click the bottom number. I can copy that and then paste it over here for my simple random sample. Okay, so um, that's it for, for that part, for getting a simple random sample. You'll just want to repeat those steps. And there's pictures to help you out too in case you get lost. Now, stratified sampling. Uh, before I do this one, um, just to give you an idea of what stratified sampling is. Let's say there's a town um, with uh, you know, maybe 20,000, 30,000 people. And there's an election coming up. If you think like a person's income status is going to influence how they vote, then whatever sample you draw should be stratified based on their income level, if possible. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to stratify because you can't really define, like you're not sure if income level really does affect how they vote. Sometimes you're not sure what variable to stratify. So stratified sampling isn't always done, but it's a way if you're sure that there's a there's like some underlying variable like. Um, income level. It's a way of making sure that our random sample is close to what the population is like. So let's say 20% of the town is rich. Maybe 40% is middle income and 40% is poor. Okay. Then draw a random sample of 100 people or 1,000 or however many you want to draw. 20 randomly selected from the rich part of town, 40 from the 
middle income part of town, and then 40 from the poor part of town. That's stratified sampling. Okay? When you sample based on these percentages. So let's take that idea and apply it to what we're doing here. Um, in this country, uh, in, well, sorry, not this country, in Catalonia, I don't know if they want to be called a country. <laughs> They're an autonomous region of Spain. But 80% um, are ethnicity 1, 10% are ethnicity 2, 6% ethnicity 3. and so, so if we're drawing a random sample of 100, we want to randomly select 80 of ethnicity 1, 10 of ethnicity 2, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So you've got to go back to your Google Sheets document. So to make our stratified sample, let's sort this um, based on ethnicity. And let's see, is this still least to grace? This looks like this is still least to grace, so that's great. Okay, because we want 80, uh, 80 of these height values. And since it's sorted by the random numbers, we know that the first 80 we see were randomly selected. So actually, I need both these. I'm going to copy the ethnicity and... Um, the and the height column over into another data set. So I'm going to give it a title. This is ethnicity and then height here. And then I'm going to edit paste over here. So there, I've got 80 from uh, ethnicity one. And then it said 10% were ethnicity two. So let's go down to ethnicity two. And then we need 10 of those. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, that's a is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10. Okay. So take 10. And again, I can do this because it's it's sorted from least to greatest. If this was if these random numbers were random, then we couldn't be sure that we're getting 10 random people. Okay, so I want to paste that here. And then uh, keep going on with the percentages like that. Okay. You want um, that six percent are ethnicity three. So since you're drawing a hundred individuals, you want to get six random numbers from ethnicity three, and then four from ethnicity four. Okay. And then to calculate the mean, median, and mode. Um, so to calculate the mean, you type in equals average. Open a parentheses. Click and drag the numbers you want to calculate the mean for, and then close the parentheses. And then hit enter. Same thing for the median. Equals median. And I'm just grabbing random, like I'm grabbing a random set of columns. You gotta read through the instructions to see what you need to calculate the median for, okay? That's just to help with calculating the function. Like the instructions ask you to calculate. Oh, it's further down here. This is just demonstrating. Mean median mode for each ethnicity of your random sample. So Ethnicity 1, if I want to calculate the mean, type equals, average, open parentheses, and then, oops, I want to click and drag all the heights of ethnicity 1. Then close that parentheses and hit enter, and there is my mean for ethnicity 1. You want to do the same thing here, equals median, for median, click and drag all the heights that for ethnicity 1. That way we'll be able to compare to see if there seems to be any difference in, in height based on ethnicity. They could do the same thing for mode. Equals mode and then your data set goes here. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, creating a histogram. Uh, there's pictures to help you through that. Uh, looks like at the beginning it tells us. Based on all the data values in the table. So all the data values in the table means we want a histogram of all these heights right here. Okay, so I think there's a word down here. If you keep the word in it, it might not graph it. So I've highlighted using uh, clicking in, sh in the shift key. Get out of here. Go to insert, chart. And then we want a histogram. Let's see if that does it. That looks good. Yeah, so there's a histogram of our values. We call that, that would be approximately normally distributed. A little off, but we'll talk about what that means later on. And then to make the pie chart, same type of thing, but you have to hi also highlight ethnicity, okay? So highlight both, insert, chart, go to pie, and then click aggregate. There's your pie chart. 
Okay, so that's all the steps. Uh, I know we we kind of uh, it, it's quicker to do a video than it is to actually do the uh, assignment for this week. So if you get stuck on something, uh, message me. Just let me know what you've tried so far, and I'll be happy to help out. Okay. I forgot how to close the video. <laughs> I can't end it. <laughs>